Up until now, Lisa has been checking her blood glucose three to four times a day using a blood glucose meter. Lisa knows her glucose changes constantly throughout the day. Things like food, insulin, and exercise all affect her glucose levels. Checking her BG lets Lisa know what her glucose level was at that particular moment in time. But the individual BG readings didn't tell Lisa what her glucose did in between the readings. Did it go high or did it go low? And which way is it heading now? According to Dr. Walsh, Lisa's doctor, CGM can provide more information than just her finger sticks. Lisa has some time before her next client, so she goes online to research how it works. Lisa sees the CGM system is made up of three main parts. The Guardian Sensor 3, the Guardian Link 3 transmitter, and the Minimed 770G insulin pump. The sensor is inserted into the skin so it comes into contact with the fluid beneath the skin. The transmitter is then connected to the sensor. Every five minutes, the sensor measures the glucose found in the fluid under the skin and sends that information through the transmitter to the pump. The glucose value then appears on Lisa's pump. Lisa is surprised by how many glucose readings are provided by CGM. She quickly calculates one reading every five minutes, 12 readings an hour, 288 sensor readings a day. That's more information than she gets with her meter alone. Will she still need her meter? Yes, Lisa sees she will still need her BG meter. The CGM system needs meter readings to keep the system working properly. These BG readings calibrate the system for optimal CGM performance. Even though a BG meter reading is needed, Lisa sees that BG readings and sensor glucose readings don't match exactly. But why? The BG meter and CGM system measure glucose in two different places. A BG meter measures the glucose in the blood, and the sensor measures glucose in the fluid under the skin. Glucose travels through the blood first, then to the fluid before getting into the cells. Because of this, Meter readings and sensor readings will be close, but will rarely match exactly. Since using CGM provides so much more glucose information, the focus is more about sensor glucose trends, the direction, and the speed that glucose is changing, rather than each glucose number. Is glucose going up rapidly or coming down slowly? The pump shows this information as a sensor graph and trend arrows. Lisa sees that with CGM, not only can she set her pump to alert her when her glucose is low or high, but also when the pump predicts her glucose will go low or high. Lisa likes the idea of knowing she is going low before she actually gets there. Having more information on what her glucose is doing may help Lisa and her doctor identify why she is having these unexpected lows during the day and make any needed changes. Using CGM lets Lisa see these effects on her glucose throughout the day. It measures glucose levels every five minutes, day and night, filling in the gaps between finger sticks. Lisa will still need to check her BG with a meter, but she will have much more information on her glucose and will be able to set up alerts for her lows. After reading through this material, Lisa realizes CGM may be the solution she has been looking for. She calls up her doctor's office to let him know she has decided to get started with CGM. A knock on the door lets her know that her clients have arrived. Time to show the house! 